As daycare providers, I believe one of our biggest jobs beyond keeping the kids alive is to prepare them for the future. So in today's Daycare Day video, I'm talking all about teaching children responsibility. Work Life Glue back for another daycare day video where every Friday I talk about something daycare related and today I'm talking all about teaching children responsibility in daycare why it's important and how you can start doing it right now. So there are many reasons why I think it's important to teach children responsibility in the daycare setting. I think some people could argue well we're not the parents it's not our job but if you guys will see our, my video I'll link below about what is our job I feel very strongly that our job is to you know co-parent these children and to teach them manners, responsibility, being good people, being kind, all that kind of stuff because they're with us many many hours a week so I think that's definitely our responsibility and there are many reasons why it's important to teach them responsibility. One being that they are going to be the future leaders of this country of wherever you live and I don't want the leaders to be bad leaders so it's important to help bring up quality citizens, teach them responsibility now. So when they're 18, 19, they can actually go on to do great things instead of like learning how to survive because they will already have learned those important things early on. Also, one of the greatest indicators of future academic success and success in life is self-regulation skills. It's not knowing your ABCs, it's not knowing your one, two, threes, it's being able to self-regulate. So if you can help teach children responsibility in other areas, they'll take responsibility over their own bodies, learn how to be patient, learn to wait and take turns, to not blurt out the answer and that kind of thing. So you're giving them permission to be responsible and that'll carry on through other areas of their life, which is super critical for success in the future. Also, it doesn't hurt that it will eventually make your job a little bit easier. If they're doing some more stuff, pitching in as they should, you won't have to do as much, which is really nice. Also, kids have limited time at home. If they're with you 40, 50 hours a week, when they're at home, they're eating, they're getting ready for bed, they might be going you know, grocery shopping or you know, spending time with family or trying to do some, you know, classes, activities, that kind of thing. So there's not as much time to be just doing the daily things. Now, I do think it's definitely a parent's job to do this stuff as well, but when they're with you all day, it's a perfect opportunity to help them pitch in when you're doing the mundane day-to-day -day kind of things, picking up, eating, going to the bathroom, putting on clothes to go outside, all that kind of stuff. It's very easy for us to take the time to help train the children to be responsible because they're with us so much. And lastly, it can really help with some of the negative behaviors because you're putting the responsibility on the child. If they don't want to clean up, well, that's their choice, but they're not going to get to do the fun stuff. So instead of rebelling, they may actually start to chip in once you really get really serious about teaching responsibility and following through with it and really putting the onus on them instead of on you, which can be helpful. Okay, so how do we actually go about teaching responsibility in child care? There are all kinds of ways. I'm not going to cover every single one, so if you have ideas, leave them in the comments. I'm just here to start the conversation, but let's keep it going. However, um, I would say the very first step, especially if you're like me and you're very like type A, want things to go a certain way, is to relax let go and become at peace that things won't happen the way you want them to and that's okay. Kids aren't going to clean up like you will. They may spill their food as they're bussing their, their plates to where you want them to bring them to. They're learning and growing and just knowing that ahead of time and coming to terms with that will allow you to not freak out when those things happen and will allow you to not quit and just do it for them because you already know that you will be having to clean up and they're not gonna do as good of a job as you and that's okay. And if you are this kind of person, make sure you're only giving them chores and things to do that you're okay with. If you have carpeted area around your kitchen and they would have to bust food through that and it would spill on the carpet and you freak out about your carpet, then maybe you don't have that be one of the things they're responsible for or set it up in a way that they're not carrying it there. Just know your space, know yourself, and be realistic about what you can handle and what you can't. So one thing, during craft time, set up a place where they can go grab their own crayons, throw away their own garbage, clean up after themselves. 
that's a really good place to start because they usually love to do crafts and so put it on them to clean up and to get their own materials if the children make a mess don't be the one to rush in and clean it up it can be really hard and in some situations like pee all over the bathroom you don't want them walking through it but you could clean up some and then have them get involved or you know have them do one part spraying and you do the the wiping or things like that have them be involved if they make a mess if they're at least you know a year old one year olds can help and on up so if they make a mess they spill their milk hand them some towels you may finish the job but they should definitely be responsible for helping to clean up and they may learn to be a little bit safer and more careful with their eating so that they don't do it again for meals what i do is i have this little ottoman in front of our dining room window that um, is accessible to the kids it's a good height that they can reach and i put three dish tubs in there one for the food they dump in there one for stuff they need to put in the dishwasher so their plates and their utensils and then one for their napkins and other garbage and then there's wipes at the end so they can wipe their hands on their face and I started doing this a couple months ago. I was really apprehensive about it, but they've done a great job. They barely ever spill. I put a blanket on it so I can easily clean that when needed. And they love it. They love busting their trays. They love, you know, seeing the foods other people ate and didn't eat and stuff like that. And they just really love it. I take the cups because that's one area. Like, I don't want them spilling milk everywhere. So I do take those, but they do everything else. And it's worked out really great and it saves me time having to run back and forth to the kitchen grabbing stuff and I love it. They love it. Also along with meals, allow the children to help wipe the tables. I use a vinegar water mix for sanitizing and cleaning the tables so it's totally safe for the kids to be around. So I can spray the tables and they can help wipe them off since they're the ones who ate there. They should be involved in cleaning it up. When it comes to going outside, I start really early on around 18 months to two years old, depending on the child, allowing them to try to get their own clothes on, mostly around two years old, but it really depends on the kids. So they can start trying to put their shoes on, their coat. We teach the method, we call it yippee doo My daughter Celia came up with that where you have their coat laying on the ground, opened up with the hood face like close to them. They stick their hands in and they flip it over their head and it's on and then you just have to help zip um, or encourage them to try. They can get on their own shoes, especially boots and snow pants and all that. Let them struggle with it a little bit. It's okay because once they master it, they will be so proud of themselves. And if they don't get it and you know they haven't done it before, you can jump in and help. But if they just sit there and scream, I don't help until they try. I think it's really important. They need to learn, especially like a three-year-old. They can definitely get this stuff on, but it takes some practice. And it may, it may require a little bit of fussiness, but in the long run, they'll take ownership. They'll feel proud and they'll be more motivated to do more stuff on their own once they realize how awesome it feels to do that without a grown-up swooping it in to save the day. Some people do this a lot, some never, but I like to once in a while have the kids help me prepare meals. So we might do like a pizza bagel day for lunch where I have the bagels and the toppings and they can help put everything on. Um, stuff like that, we've made ice cream together and fun treats we've baked together, allowing the kids to dump different things in. I just think it's really fun to get them involved in the kitchen. And if you have like a garden, allowing them to help pick the fruits and veggies, and then they might actually eat them more, which is awesome too. Just little ways you can get them involved. I also, I haven't done this with my daycare kids yet, but with my own three-year-old, I have these kid save knives that don't cut you. And she will cut up like grapes or cucumbers or whatever. They're not perfect, but she really loves to help. And then it also encourages her and motivates her to eat them as well. I don't know about you guys, but I have kids constantly coming up to me with little pieces of garbage that they found or lint or what, who knows? I don't even want to know sometimes what, where are they finding these things? Um, but instead of taking it from them and throwing it away, I lead them to the garbage. And not only does that take away time where I'm having to deal with this stuff. Now they know just to go bring it to the garbage and that's a great habit of picking up dirty garbage and putting it away. Um, it's a great habit when they're outside to do the same thing if we're on a walk or whatever. 
so they're taking care of the earth which is another great thing to learn another thing you can do um, like I do line leaders you can also do like have certain tasks and a child does that task for the day or the week maybe it's wiping off surfaces maybe it's opening the door turning on the light um, announcing the next task whatever it may be give them the responsibility of being in charge of different things I haven't implemented this yet but I might um, I just think kids love to be the one in charge of something and so um, it's also teaching them responsibility and they think it's a fun thing so whenever you can make these things fun it's more likely to stick and to work and then lastly try to incorporate these things into dr into dramatic play have you know brooms and stuff uh, just put some rags in there they could pretend to wipe the surfaces and just encourage them pre have them play daycare and help clean up things and change the baby's diapers I think the more kids play these responsibility tasks the more likely they are to do them and to see them as a fun thing and a thing we're doing to contribute than a negative thing and I guess at the end of the day that's really the big deal is to make it fun make cleaning up fun picking up their toys put on a song make it a race give them buckets and tell them to clean up red toys or blue toys or how many toys can they pick up the fastest and then count them at the end um, just try to make it fun because kids are all about having fun and you can make things fun in so many easy ways that also make your job easier because they're actually helping. So those are all the things I have come up with for ways to teach children responsibility in daycare. I would love to know your ideas. I'm sure there are so many I did not think about so leave those in the comments and as always thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We also talk about things like time management, parenthood, organizing, decluttering on this channel so make sure you're subscribed so you can see those videos. We post three days a week. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.